Welcome students to Mr. Tuga's online lessons. Uh, we're going to start with exercise number one, uh, which is horizontal and vertical translations. All right, so let's first start with a graph. Um, here it says f of x equals x squared, and notice we did not sketch that graph yet, so we'll sketch it. Um, you guys might remember this graph is a parabola, right, that crosses by 0, 0, when x equals 1, y equals 1, when x equals negative 1, um, if you plug in negative 1 into there, squared is 1. If you plug in 1, you get 1 squared is 1 and 0, 0. And you have a parabola that looks something like this. I could get more defined, but I think that's good enough for now. Um, and we're going to make transformations of this graph. So this graph here that we have sketched, this is graph is going to move um, according to certain uh, equations. So we call this the parent graph. Um, it could be called the original function, um, different ways to look at it, uh, to say it, I mean. Okay, so using this graph, or this idea, we're going to sketch these graphs over here. Okay, so first, this is x squared minus 2. You might be able to guess what happens, but this minus 2 here is going to move this graph down. So instead of starting at 0, 0, right, so this is 0, 0, we're going to move the graph to 0, negative 2. So we're going to have our point here. And every single point is going to move in the exact same direction. So the two points that were here before are going to move down two. So now we have these points. And this will be the exact same graph. Excuse my sloppiness in the graph, but it's good, as good as I'm going to do it. And so it's the same graph moved down two. So if I just go and compare the two graphs, it's the same graph, just two down. Okay, so now... I don't know if you remember, but x minus 1 squared, what this would do to the graph is it would move over 1 to the right. So when x equals 1, if you were to put a 1 here, 1 minus 1 is 0, 0 squared is 0. So you would be moving everything over to the right one. So all three of these points, these three points here, sorry, these three points here are going to move 1 to the right. So now you're going to have these three points right here. I'll change color just so it's a little bit more visual, and you have this. That's not a bad graph. Okay, so again, now if you compare that to the original, same graph, moved over one to the right. Okay, so using those ideas, again, we work with the parent graph of y equals x squared. So using what we've learned, this is going to do this, is going to be a translation to the left. So we're going to move left two, and we're going to move up one. So this is left two. Notice that when x equals negative 2, this is 0, so left 2 and plus 1. So, put the graph on here. So, this point here that was there at 0, 0, it's going to move left 2 and up 1. This point here is going to be left 2, up 1, and this point here would be left 2, up 1. And our final graph is going to look like this. Those are our three points, and we have the exact same parabola. All right. Okay, uh, in this example, <clears throat> we're starting with a, an original graph here. Sorry. We're starting with an original graph here. This is actually the graph of y equals absolute value of x minus 2. Uh, what you might remember from absolute value is the absolute value make everything positive. So normally you have the line y equals x minus 2, which would be this line. And then the absolute value make all the negative values positive. So that's why you end up with this V-shape graph. We're going to call this graph f of x. We're going to call this our parent function. And we're going to make transformations on this function. Um, it's going to be written a little differently than last time. So this time, instead of having the equation, I'm just going to give you f of x. See, f of x means we're relating to... So I'm going to see if I can keep that graph in there. We're relating to the original function here. Okay? And then this x plus 3, this is the transformation we're performing. And if you remember from the last example, if it's inside the bracket, it's attached to the x, this was a horizontal translation. And in this case, this translation would be 3 to the left. So if you wanted to describe that, so this would be 3 to the left. Okay, so another way to look at it would be what value of x would give this 0? Well, it'd be negative 3, because negative 3 plus 3 is 0. So you move 3 to the left, negative 3. Okay, so you take our original graph. This is ju just our ghost graph over here. This is our original graph from here. And we're going to move this graph, like I said, 3 to the left. 
So here this point moves 3 to the left, this point moves 3 to the left, and this point moves 3 to the left. And I'm trying to make good straight lines here. And you have that line, and you have that line, and there's your final graph. Okay, so in this case, for the second one, we're making another transformation on our original graph. But this time, notice this plus 2 is outside the bracket. Over here, we had 3 inside the bracket. Here, we have plus 2. So this is going to affect the vertical translation. And in this case, this plus 2 is simply going to go make it up 2. Simple enough. Notice that inside the bracket, it did the opposite. We went 3 left, even though it said plus 3. Here, this plus 2, we're going to go up 2. So you take this graph again. You take this, the ghost graph. You're going to take this point. You're going to move it up 2. Take this point, move it up 2. This point, move it up 2. And what you end up getting, whoops, that wasn't a great line. Let's try that again. Okay, so you have this line, and you have that line, and there you go. Perfect, and that's your final graph. All right, let's do a combination of the two. So again, the parent graph is there for us. I hope after a few examples, you can kind of maybe guess what you're supposed to do here. So this is x minus 1. For this to be 0, x would be equal to 1. So that'd be 1 to the right. So this part would be 1 to the right. And then this part over here, this minus 2, I hope you guys can guess this is 2 down. Okay? So we take our graph over here, and we do these two transformations. So this is f of x minus 1, so 1 to the right, minus 2, 2 down. So you take every point, so again, we'll take the two, three major points, we'll take that vertex there. We're going to move it one to the right, two down, you end up over here. One to the right, two down, you end up over here. One to the right, two down, you end up over here. And again, the shape of the graph did not change. All that changed is basically where the vertex is, and you have that shape. Okay? All right, so just a summary of uh, what's going on here. So if here, if you have y equals f of x, and you have a plus k, you often use the variable k to represent this value, um, this would be a vertical translation, right? So the, the k would be a vertical translation. And uh, if k is positive, so k is larger than 0, right? You're going to go up. And if k is smaller than 0, you're going to go down. Okay, don't forget, k is larger than 0, that means positive. k is smaller than 0 means negative. If you want to give yourself a little uh, reminder, that's okay. But we're going to use this notation all year. So be very ready to, anytime you say a negative number, that means smaller than 0. Okay, so the next one, if you have x minus h, notice that we use a negative in there. Um, often you use a negative, and so this will play around a little bit what you see um, in terms of the, the numbers, but that's as long as you keep hold to a certain consistency, you should be fine. So this is a horizontal, let's see if I can write a little bit better, horizontal uh, translation. Translation is a movement of the graph. Uh, left or right, up or down. So in this case, um, since we have a negative here, okay, so if h is larger than 0, okay, that would mean you would have x minus 5, right? So you're moving to the right. And if h is smaller than 0, you're moving left. Okay? Another way to represent this, you might see this somewhere, uh, you'd have f of x minus h plus k, where you have both the transformations at the same time. Sometimes also in certain textbooks, you're going to see this k on this side moved over to the left-hand side. Okay? If, you, if you want, you can simply just move it back, and then you'd have this shape. All right? So we're going to have one last example. Okay, so comparing two graphs. So I'm giving you the final graph. If g of x is equal to f of x minus 1 plus 2, so this is the graph over here after we've made the transformation of 1 to the right and 2 up, right? 1 to the right, so whenever that's 0, 1 minus 1 is 0. So 1 to the right and 2 up. So we've made those transformations on this graph. Again, this is our ghost graph to say where we were at. 
I want to find what was the original graph. Okay, so to find the original graph, well, I'm going to go backwards. Because to find the original f of x, I've made a transformation again, 1 to the right, 2 up. So to go back to f, I need to go um, 2 down, right? I have to undo this one, and then 1 uh, left. I went 1 right, so i got to go back left. Okay, so it's just going backwards, and th th you just have to think about it. Okay, what did I do to get from one place, now how do I go back? Okay, so you take the same steps. So we went up 2, so we got to go down 2. And we went right 1, so we got to go left 1. So down 2, so over here. I'm going to take this point here, down 2, left 1. So down 2, left 1. And I'll do that to all the points. Down 2, left 1. Down 2, left 1. And down 2, left 1. And those are our four points. Let's call those the important points of this graph. Of this graph. And then all you got to do is connect the dots. Okay? So just a quick note. In this case, you perform the transformations from right to left to go back to the original graph. Um, I'm going to repeat this a few times as this course goes along, but usually what you want to do is you always want to perform the transformations from left to right, but if you're going backwards, well, you're going to go right to left. Okay? Good luck on your first lesson.